In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a thank you page for your MailChimp landing page, how to install the Facebook pixel on it, create what's called a custom conversion event, and then finally test to make sure that that custom conversion event is working. Hi, my name is Jonathan Tanner and I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. In the video before this, uh, so if you haven't yet watched it, the link is in the description, you can go and watch it first. We showed you how to create a Facebook pixel from within uh, Business Manager within Facebook and then take that pixel ID and uh, install it on your MailChimp, your free MailChimp landing page. And then finally, we looked at the Facebook Pixel Helper, which is a free Google Chrome extension that you can use to test to make sure that the pixel was firing or, or working. All right, so what we're gonna do in this video uh, is create that thank you page. And there's a couple of reasons why we would wanna create a thank you page before we dive straight into it. The first is that the thank you page uh, is primarily there for tracking purposes. So we wanna know, we wanna create a list of people who do uh, get to that particular page. So in the previous video, we had uh, the example, uh, I'll show it to you right here, was uh, an, an online, uh, the fictional business was called Online Art Store. And in the landing page that we created, we were giving away a free ebook, the ultimate guide to home office design. Now, if we create a thank you page, uh, what we can do is that the people that reach that thank you page are the ones that have downloaded our guide. And that's useful because we want, might wanna create a list of people, or what's in Facebook terms is called a custom audience, a list of people that we can target with a specific type of ad. And that specific type of ad might be different to people who arrive at this particular landing page, but don't download the, the, the guide, right? So that's the first reason is we wanna be able to create a custom audience, a list of people who we can target um, who have downloaded the ebook. The second reason is that we want to educate the Facebook ad algorithm. We wanna let it work its magic. So a certain number of people are going to download our ebook. They're gonna get through to our thank you page. And we wanna be able to tell the Facebook ad algorithm who those people are and what, most importantly, what are the characteristics. And over time, that will allow the Facebook ad algorithm uh, to serve the ads to people most likely to reach that thank you page. So there's a couple of reasons why thank you pages are a good idea. You often see them, you, you know, you see these thank you pages and you're like, why does this page exist? It has so little information on it, uh, but it's primarily there for tracking purposes, okay? And we're gonna use that and we're gonna create a custom conversion event. All right, let's dive into it. So this is our original uh, page. We do have a third video on how to create, you know, beautiful high converting landing pages using MailChimp. That link is also in the description. Again, these videos is more about uh, how to install the pixel and how to create uh, the thank you page and the custom conversion than necessarily about how to create a super high converting or beautiful looking uh, landing page in MailChimp. So we're gonna log into our MailChimp account. Um, if you don't yet have an account, you can create an account there. <clears throat> Just skip over this. Okay, and on the left-hand side here, uh, what I'll do is I'll click on our campaigns and you'll see it has a copy of this landing page, right? So this is the landing page that we built. Uh, you'll see that it sits here um, and it's the one here that's published, okay? So what we can do is then uh, click on the right-hand side here and we can replicate that landing page. We're gonna click on replicate. And that's basically just going to create a, a copy, an identical copy of this landing page that we early created earlier. Now, we can uh, then edit the name of it. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go um, TYP, which stands for thank you page. You often see TYP. Uh, so if you ever do, that's what's there. Uh, we'll change the page title as well. So TYP. It's going to automatically, because it's a free version, it's going to automatically generate that URL for you. Just ignore audience and tags. We want to come down. We just want to edit the design. So up will pop the original design that you had. Now, because it's a thank you page, we don't need the form. So we, that's the first thing we can do is delete. Uh, we might just edit the title here. Uh, now, this can just say, thanks for downloading. And we might change that to just a slightly different color so that people realize that they're on a different page. And then we'll just change that subheadline to, uh, you know, please check your inbox for 
the ultimate. Okay, we'll click save and close, right? So that's uh, quite simple, right? Very, very simple um, process of, of changing that. And then we can click save and close. Now, we've created a thank you page very, very quickly, uh, just replicated the first landing page. Now we've created our thank you page. Uh, we again, though, just because we replicated it doesn't mean, I'm just going to move my head out of the way. Okay. Just because we replicated it, though, doesn't mean that the tracking has come with it. So you'll see here, if you click on edit, we learned this in the first video, uh, you click here, track with the Facebook pixel, use an existing Facebook pixel ID, and this is where we're gonna insert our pixel ID. So you're gonna to have to go back into business.facebook.com, uh, click on this little guy up here, go down to business settings. On the left-hand side, uh, you'll see a few options here, users, accounts, I'm gonna click on data sources, go to pixels, find the pixel, and then you wanna click on the pixel ID, so copy that jump into here, back into MailChimp, and you wanna paste that pixel ID into there and click save. So your pixel ID, I mean, your, your Facebook pixel needs to be installed on every single web page that you have, right? So it should be across every single page um, that you have. Uh, once you've done that, you then click publish. And you'll see here, it gives you a URL. So we're gonna click on that just test to see how it's looking. Right, so there's our thank you page. So people will go from, uh, firstly from this page into this page, okay? So that's how a thank you page works. Now I'm gonna copy the URL for this for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, we're gonna go back into the original campaign here in MailChimp, uh, the original landing page, I should say, which is this guy here. I'm just gonna uh, click on this one over here and click edit. And when we go down, we want to edit design of this particular content. And we're doing this because we want to link the original landing page to the thank you page. Okay, so we're going to go to the form, right? The form area of the landing page. Click on the little pencil icon. Just move myself out of the way. Scroll down on this form and you see here, you'll, uh, it'll, it'll say send to. After form is submitted, send visitors to confirmation message. So we actually wanna send them to a landing page, okay? And you can see here that you can select a landing page to link to, right? And lo and behold, online art store ebook thank you page is automatically selected. So MailChimp knows what we're trying to do here. Um, if you were to create your landing page on a different landing page builder or website builder, um, you can even select web address and then you could enter in, so here you could enter in the URL, the link of the thank you page that you're created, right? But it knows, it knows what we're trying to do. So select that landing page and then click save and close and then save and publish. And now you should find uh, when you do go in here, um, if you were to enter your details into there, um, you'll see that it has taken us through that landing page. That's what we wanted uh, to happen, which is really, really useful. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do um, on our thank you page, so we've linked the two together, uh, which is great, um, but we wanna make sure that the, uh, the pixel is firing. And the way in which we do that uh, is to use what's called the Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, so Facebook Pixel Helper is a free Chrome extension. You would have learned this in the previous video. So I'm gonna move through this pretty quickly. Uh, you type on this, you go into the, the Google Chrome web store uh, and you click add to Chrome. Okay, and you click add to Chrome uh, and then add extension. And this free extension offered by Facebook will automatically be added up here under your extensions. Now, if it doesn't appear, so it just appeared and then disappeared, you click on this little puzzle piece here and then you just need to click on that uh, little, little pin and it will automatically appear uh, up there, right? So now when you go to this particular page or any web page uh, on the internet and you click on this page here, 
Um, what you should see is this little pixel firing. But as we saw in the previous video as well, sometimes it doesn't work straight away. You've got to give it a couple of minutes. Sometimes you've got to refresh it a few times. So I'm just going to go into here. I'm just going to refresh this page. And there you go. It's turned blue, right? So we now know that the Pixel is successfully installed, and you'll see the pixel number ending in 504 matches the pixel ID from your Facebook business account. Okay, so we've now got a landing page which has an offer, you know, headline, subheadline, a form, an offer of some description. In this case, it's a content offer. And then once someone submits that particular form, they then go through to this to this thank you page that is now tracked with the pixel. But what we want to do is we want to set up what's called a custom conversion, right? So we want to know that uh, the type of people that have hit this page and we're going to do that back in the Facebook ad platform so that it can pull the data in. The whole point of the custom conversion is we want to, we want to start pulling data of people that reach this particular page back into Facebook. That's, that's the reason why we're doing all of this. Okay, so let's jump back into uh, business settings in here. Okay, and then we're gonna click on the business tools. Uh, the best way to think about, you know, again, if, we, if, you, if you navigate into here, business.facebook.com. Business.facebook.com, I like to think of it as sort of like your iPhone or your, your Samsung uh, phone, and it's got a bunch of apps, right? Well, it's got a bunch of businesses. Once you're into each of the businesses, um, you have many, many apps that you can choose from one of which is business settings uh, and the other is ads manager. Ads manager is where you're going to go to run your particular ads. But in this case, we're going to click on this and we're going to go through to the events manager and this is what we're going to do to set up our custom conversion. You see that there's our pixel. Okay, so we've got the little pixel here uh, on the left-hand side. And then on the left here, you can see that under um, events manager, you've got what's called custom conversions. So we're going to click on custom conversions. The icon is this little kind of uh, star that you've got here. Okay, so that's the icon that we're looking for, right? Now, coming to here, I'm just going to delete this one. This is an old one. Um, not sure we can. Never mind. Uh, it's one I used previously. But we're going to click create custom conversion. Okay, so this is the screen that you're going to see saying create custom inversion, uh, conversion. So what, for this one, we're going to call this online art store ebook page. Okay, so we've given it a name. You can give it a description as well if you're making a lot of these custom conversions. That can be a really handy, handy way to keep on top of things. Um, data source. So you want to make sure that uh, it's the correct pixel is here. And it'll see it'll give you the number ending in 504. If you remember, that was the one that we had installed on all of it. The conversion event, just leave that as all URL uh, traffic. Okay, now it's got to choose a standard event for optimization. Um, you can select a category here yourself, but Facebook also says we use information about your business to automatically choose a category for you. So let Facebook do the hard work, let it choose it for you. And then you come down to what's called the rules. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to have URL equals, and then what we're going to go into our thank you page and we're going to copy our URL. Okay, we're going to copy it here. And then we're going to jump back into the Facebook ad platform and we're going to paste our URL into there. Okay, so URL equals this. And then if you want to, so this is about, um, you know, someone buying something, for example, if you're selling a product that's $100, you can enter a conversion value, actually put a numeric value to this particular conversion. Um, and a conversion is really, it's, it's just any type of action that, that you're wanting to track, right? The whole point of a conversion is someone has completed an action that you wanted them to, to complete, right? So URL equals, and then you put the, the URL into there, you paste it into there, and then click Create. Okay, and you get a little tick. You've created the custom conversion online art store ebook thank you page on the online art store's pixel, right? Just click done. And you see there, it's sitting there, okay? Now it's come in and this one here, it's it's inactive, okay? So sometimes it will, um, as I said, Facebook ad platform can be a little bit buggy from time to time. So don't worry if immediately after you've done something, it's a little bit buggy. And sometimes it can take up to five minutes 
uh, for it to propagate, for it to get to the point where it's working, right? So one of the fastest ways though you can get this thing to, to become active is to jump back into your thank you page and then just refresh it, okay? And I want you to watch up here in the right-hand corner, the little pixel helper, uh, watch what happens. Fingers crossed, everything goes well, okay? So you see here, it's turned to a three, right? So if we go back into the Facebook ad platform, um, it, it will show that it's now active. If I click on this, what you can see now is that there's a third line here that says online art store ebook thank you page, right? And if you click on that, you see it's a custom conversion. So we're using the Facebook pixel helper to not only ensure that the base pixel is installed, base pixel should be installed on every single web asset, whether it's a landing page or a website page, every single one that you have, you should install your base pixel. But then for specific types of custom conversions, right, that's that's what thing. And you'll see the logo here is the little star, the little black one is the same logo in the Facebook ad platform. So that shows you that we have successfully installed a custom conversion on this particular landing page, which is great. Uh, if you come back into here, again, if you were to refresh this, we should now see that that is now active, right? So we've we've checked and double checked, checked and double checked that our custom conversion is active. Now, when we go and um, when we go to set up our ads, uh, what we can now do is we can now target people who have reached that particular page, people who have reached this page, uh, which is really really great. And also, if we set up when we set up a conversions, right? So when we select the conversions type of campaign in the Facebook Ad Manager, uh, which we'll cover in a in, a, in another video, um, Bill, a very long video. If I went into that as well, um, what we can do is when we select this particular type of conversion, and um, we can target people that have reached this, and then the algorithm is going to work hard to find more people like those that do reach this particular page. That's the the, the beauty, uh, the magic of the Facebook ad algorithm. So I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed uh, this particular exercise. Remember, you know, MailChimp landing pages are completely free. Uh, unlike pretty much every other major website builder or landing page builder where you need a paid subscription in order to install the Facebook pixel, you can do this all on MailChimp completely free. So that's one of the best things about it. Um, doesn't have as wide a range of uh, of landing page templates, but certainly it's very easy to use and a uh, great place to get started if you are on a small budget. I thoroughly hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to receive other great tutorials from us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we publish a ton of really, really useful content completely free. As I said, uh, there's a link in the description where we've done a, another 20 minute tutorial on how to build a really uh, good looking and high converting landing page on MailChimp. Uh, there's also the video before this one where we talked about uh, creating this uh, original one and setting up the uh, Facebook pixel and installing it on there and testing to make sure it works. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.